Today we're gonna try something new. I'm gonna make my own skirt from start to finish. This will kind of be the opposite of fast fashion because it'll take me quite a few hours, but I'm gonna make it nice and fancy and hopefully it'll turn out really good. Let's see if I can pull it off. I've already purchased my fabric from the fabric store. I got a cotton linen blend, which will be really nice for summer. And now I'm going to design the skirt. I'm thinking a circle skirt because it'll be really nice and flowy for the summer. And I think I'm really going to challenge myself with the design this time. And then I spent a long time crawling around on the floor, cutting out the pieces of my circle skirt. It took me a little while, but I got it all done. After I was done cutting out the circle skirt, I cut out some large pockets. I wanted to be able to fit my phone or my wallet in it if I needed to. It's always handy to have big pockets. After that, I let my skirt hang for a while because everything that was cut on the bias might stretch out a little bit overnight. And here I'm just pinning the center back seam together and then I'm going to sew it from top to bottom. There was lots of ironing behind the scenes, but I had to cut some of it out because it took so long. Adding pockets can be a little bit tricky when you're first starting out, but all you have to remember is to go slow and add it one step at a time. First thing you'd have to do is sew the pocket sides together. When I sewed my side seam, I made sure to stop a little bit early so that I had room to add this on. And then you just wanna sew each side of your pocket bag to a side seam and then after you're, after you're finishing up your side seam, you can close up that gap a little bit if you want and just decide where you want to sew to. Next time I make a video about a skirt, I can go into more detail about the pockets. But for this time, I'm just going to leave it a bit general. There's probably also a lot of tutorials online if you want to put in a pocket, but this wasn't quite specific enough. I had to make a lot of bias tape for this skirt because I put so much of it in the, into the design. You can tell it took a long time because I put it pretty much along the whole hem of the circle skirt. Bias tape is just 
cut on the diagonal of the fabric so it has a tiny bit of stretch to it. It makes it sit nice and flat when you sew it onto a garment like this. The most important thing to know about your button placket is it should probably have interfacing ironed into it. It's basically just some stuff that sticks on as soon as you heat it up with the iron. And it makes your button placket stay really nice and stiff. Here you can see I'm pressing my bias tape in half. That'll give it a nice clean edge on the outside. The raw edge will be tucked in between these two layers of fabric on the hem here. This is kind of called a facing, I think. On the outside, you'll see that I don't have any stitches on it. I wanted it to be nice and clean and professional. And then on the inside, I've got some stitches, but that probably won't show too much when I'm wearing it. Here I'm measuring the waist of the skirt. I need to make a waistband for it. The first one I made, which you see in the video, I made a little bit too small. I needed to make it a little bigger and I cut it out on the bias so that it would have a little bit of stretch to it, which was a lot more comfortable than how I did it before. Once I finally got a waistband attached that fit really good, I decided to get started on the buttons. I picked out a nice brown color because I thought it would match this dusty rose pretty well. I tried to be really professional in attaching the buttons so they would all look nice and uniform. This is how it turned out guys. I'm actually pretty pleased with it because it's the first big project I've done in a while. I, uh, I'm i not a big fan of how the shirt turned out because it has some fit issues. It doesn't quite fit me properly. So I think I'm probably going to get some more fabric and redo the shirt. But the skirt is quite nice. I really love how flowy it is and I think it's gonna be really fun to wear this summer. The one thing I would probably change about the skirt is probably the waistband. I would probably keep it more simple, but that's something I can change in the future since it's something I've sewn myself. I got these on Amazon to go with the skirt. I got this bag as well. 